All right, today is gonna be painting up my turtle snail rider ride section from last Monday. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm kind of excited. That was pretty fun to make. Fits pretty well. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm only gonna paint him today and then I'm gonna probably do another part B later on. Part B will be the, part B will be the sculpture of a zombie or something, something dead. I haven't figured it out yet. But here we go. It's gonna be painting today. Got some new brushes I haven't tried out yet. The last mini brushes kind of sucked. The tips were really bad on them, even though they were supposed to be firmer. Let's see how these ones work out. Came with like a little rag and stuff. It's kind of neat actually. A little rag and every tip had a cover on them. Keep them nice and protected. I have to like rinse them off first though before I use any of them. But. There it is. So first, first off, I think I'm just gonna paint him a good brown color, maybe for the turtle, and then maybe I'll put some yellows in on him and stuff, maybe some reds. But I think brown is gonna be the base. It's gotta be the flat one. I'm gonna go with the coffee bean. Hey Elizabeth, how's it going today? Yeah, I'm only gonna paint this guy, I think, and then come back later on afternoon or this evening I wasn't too motivated to come on here today I don't know if it was all the sun yesterday or wouldn't canoeing it's pretty fun on Eagle. We were fishing. We, we didn't catch too many fish. Kind of slow. The weather's been so cold that I don't think the fish knew what was going on. They all were biting like really, really slow and light. Ones that did bite. I 
don't think this guy's gonna be too hard to paint. Just gonna be a quick. He's gonna be quick. Get most of it brown. And from there, the detailing part will be easy. That's good, your hands are still hurt today. My, mine were hurting really bad yesterday. I just was pretty unmotivated today. Just kind of wanted to lounge around. Have an off tonight. thing I have to do or gonna do is something dead and I don't know I don't have the slightest idea what I want to do I was thinking like a zombie but I think a zombie would be considered undead so and I was thinking about maybe like a skull or something put a couple LED lights in the eyes of it something like that Maybe that might be what I'll do. I have the lights already made, so it won't be that hard to just wire it. quick layer on here. Let it dry some. Do a little bit of detail and let this stuff dry. Go back and get a little darker. So far this brush is alright. I had had like a bunch of tips that were like twisted from sitting in the package. Considering I want to use them for this kind of stuff, I don't want them to be all twisted up. Um, I'm glad I'm here then. Yeah, it's been a been a weird day. I haven't been motivated at all. I think it's just the being out in the sun and being in the cold. It was kind of chilly yesterday for a little while. We were out there, and the, we went rummage sailing a little bit. That was kind of fun. Got a couple couple cool things. I got like a magnifying glass light thing for painting to do, to do small painting things, sculpting. I made another mushroom to see how good I could do with something small. I made this guy. Kind of little. And I 
also tried. This is another one I did. Another little one. First you wanna kill me. Now you wanna kiss me. I'm up to five now. Whoa. Just kind of trying the trying to different things. See what mushrooms work out. These like little spots I put on her, I was gonna put them like, they were like slime or sludge from the snail. Going up next to these mushrooms. Are you paying the coin? Oh, that's cool. Uh, so it's cool you got got someone painted or painted it. As long as you don't overdo it and hurt yourself more, you know. I want the turtle to be more of a black color. A darker brown maybe for his skin. More like a brownish red maybe. Grab a, a red color and add it to this. A little cardinal red. Put that with the brown. down for a second. Another one of these. It's got a little bit of a round bulbous tip on it. I'll just do the turtle's neck. Down in there. Yeah, like a little bit more brownish red. I might not keep it that color. I don't know if I like that. It almost needs to be darker. The turtle skin. Oh, maybe not though. Especially if I do like a a dark wash. I always like what they look like once they start coming together. The the painting part really brings them to, brings the things to life. It's gonna end up painting it black. I'll try to get 
most of him painted with the uh, that color. One thing I don't like about mixing my own colors is like I end up running out of the color I want to use. I gotta try to match it again and a lot of times I can never get that color the same. But I'm gonna end up putting something darker over this I think still. This turtle is pretty cool. I like how it turned out. Yeah, got his head covered, so at least the color, color is the same on his whole head and his neck. That's pretty much all I really was worried about, because I want to cover it up, so it'll be you know, cohesive still. Now we're gonna go back to that brown color. Now I'm just gonna go back over that same brown in some of the spots that I can tell I missed. Try to touch it up. I'll get the under the under shell now too. Yeah, the snail the snail and the rider are so cool. Yeah, paint just brings it out so much more. It's just crazy how it ends up like you can see what it looks like hey Mike you can see what it looks like but then you know once you start getting the, the color on it just totally changes it gives it the depth the depth you can't see from the one tone it, it probably doesn't pick up the same on camera the, the depth when you're looking at it because I can I can see it pretty good without painting it but I think a lot of it's too than what I'm looking for while I'm looking at it now before I paint it some things I could do a little better on this guy but I'm trying to do as, as short amount of time I could Uh, I think I'm just gonna go around you do like a yellow spare in them and then a darker another darker square over the top of it and I'm gonna use some red too in it so I think the red might be incorporated into the the scales it's not really a species of a turtle or anything it's just made up, you know.
I think like red on these little things down there and just a little bit incorporated into some of the, the scales would be cool. It would probably be like a more of a brown red like his head is. Yeah, like spares, like following the, the, the shells. Kind of like maybe like a box turtle, I think. It was kind of square. I was hoping to kind of make them a little bit darker so they're not really noticeable as much. Maybe I might even cover them again with another color over top, like thin it out. A lot of it's just getting a good layer down first. These bottom shells are going to be a totally different color, but I want this color underneath. I like these brushes way better. Yeah, so far all of the the little sculptures I made, once I paint them, I really like them a lot more. That little creature guy, the plant guy, that guy was cool. He turned out pretty good when I painted him. Because some stuff you don't have really even like a texture in your sculpt that you can add to it. The painting kind of helps it then. If I darken up the other shells, these ones down here might not be needed to darken them up that much. It might look alright. Alright, so that main part of the turtle is covered. Clean off this brush all the way. And the other brushes, like the tips came off from the the actual brush. Like it was very disappointing how right away I had to do stuff to fix them. Yeah, like the tips are all curved. Like this is pretty much the same tip. Like I have to break it free still. But they all got curved. Yeah, even the bigger one that I was mixing with, that one got a big curve to it too. I mean, they were only like $16 or something like that, but still, $16 is $16.
maybe do his skin a little bit darker, the black, add it to it. Still not really used to using acrylics. I'm more used to using oil paint. So still kinda get used to how they mix together. Yeah, I could see that, Mike. The I just try to make it more fun by the painting part, even though it's like it's kind of like a daunting task to do. Like, it just takes so much more time, but I still enjoy it. At least I know it's like finalized once I get done painting it. Must be cool. Let's say. Put a black on it, the black wash over all this. Yeah, that'd be cool. Stick with it. Yeah, there is such thing as a bad brush, man. You can still use a bad brush. But... Yeah, there is. <laughs> I don't throw them away, that's for sure. I still use them. I just don't care for the way some things work when you want to get into tight spots. They're all bent and stuff, then it's just another thing to deal with. Inside a base coat. Yeah, yeah, I know. That, that helps out a lot. You know, some paint thinners, some dissolvers, and you have to take care of the brushes still.
I have like a all natural bar soap I use sometimes on my brushes. It really helps them get nice and clean. It's getting all over on the inside of there. Super glue paints over really good. His foot was a little cracked. I think I bent it when I was after I got done baking it when it was still warm. Yeah, those other brushes though were bent and I didn't even use them yet. That was what was disappointing about them. I don't think there's a lot you can do about it when they're already like set forever already. Can't wait to start getting to the rider. Or at least the first rider, the snail. I add a dark wash over it. I think that'll look really good. Rock it to his tail really quick too. I like how this cosplay stuff is. And it makes it so I don't have to worry about tails and mushrooms and so awesome. Whoops. Okay, now we need to get inside that shell. Oh, I missed that whole other leg. Out of that color, too. Yeah, I think I want 
darker. A little bit of a darker color brown for the in between. Be dark enough in there once once it dries. Oh, nice day. Don't got work today. I gotta go outside and work on a garden a little bit still today once I'm done here. It's so nice out. Can't miss the opportunity to get out there and at least till it again and get ready to plant stuff tomorrow or the next day. I didn't play anything though because we had frost the other night. Crazy. They actually got snow northwest of us. Still darken it up a little bit with that. I do that with his legs too. Getting a new Xbox in a day, well, on Wednesday. 
should be pretty cool. Kind of excited. tone Doesn't take much. Now that he's got some color on his body. It's easier to see. You don't need to mix stuff. Get into the actual spot that it's not in yet. of the shell right now and get the spots that aren't Dirtying it up a little bit. This bottom shell can't be clean like that. Just don't look right. Trying to 
get all the gray spots covered. Quite a few of them I didn't really notice before. Exposure before I think. It always takes a little while though. Such a kind of a time consuming part. Such a small area to get into. Try not to touch the face.
Yeah, he's brushed away by stones. Can I actually use them? The tip of them, or the other ones I couldn't. Yeah, the other ones weren't firm enough. They like bent way too much. They didn't hold any paint. That goes up into his mouth. I'm trying to make sure I paint that black too. And you only see it if you look up close. concentrate a lot when I'm painting really fine stuff. I might go back and touch it up, but I like to just do it all in one go if I could. Whew. 
stuff is tough on here. I almost wish I had colored clay or like straps and ropes and stuff like that. I mean, maybe I might buy some of that deco stuff just to do that. I'll probably have it for a while if I only use it for like using it for straps and buckles and that kind of stuff. Couldn't try to get in there too much. probably
This part's taking a minute. Oh. So small. So fine, like, the angles to get into. Like two years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do this fine painting. My hands were shaking way too much. I have a thyroid condition, and until I had it under control, my hands would shake so bad. I would never thought I could paint or do any of this kind of stuff like this. It's kind of the other reason why I'm doing it too is because I knew at one point I wasn't able to. Couldn't draw a straight line or anything. It was like jagged. It's gotten so much better. I'm surprised me able to do this. Still, because that was only like a year ago, maybe two years ago. I don't know if I want to do the ropes in red or in black also. a little bit of black on the stems of these and then I'll come back over and put a different color on it already a little bit porous on this these guys so I'm trying to get some of the black into the porous spots see what it will look like once I go over it again more likely it's just gonna be a brown like a yellowish brown or something. Straps on this guy. 
Oh wait. No, we're not. Yeah, we're gonna do that first. That way, I can try harder to not get on that part. Black so much harder to paint. <laughs> Especially if you're gonna paint over something, because then you gotta worry about getting on everything. Yeah. Oh, painting just takes a while. Getting something on him. Grab some yellow. Latte. It's a little darker though.
text to her if that was still outside or not. She wasn't. She was inside. You were just chilling. I think I want to do like yellowish markings on the shell, but I'm afraid they're gonna not show up how I want them to. It's gonna be a little bit too yellow, but I want to put a darker color. So on top of it, so I'm just gonna go with it.
give it just a little bit of a redness to it. Here, on the edges here. A little bit red. I think that that'll kind of give it a little bit of life down here. Just kind of want it on the, the tips of the tops.
How's it going for everybody? They, uh, you guys enjoying your Monday holiday? Oh, I got some of you guys on a holiday, but. This turtle's definitely coming along here. Put a little color shift here for the snails. Snails business is leaving behind. Color shift stuff looks cool for its sludge. Do the snail. Maybe a little metallic copper. Shell. Like. Try using this color shift stuff and then the copper stuff. The other spots. See how it turns out. And then I think I want to do like a 
a light wash on that part. So like all the little cracks will be like a lighter color. That'd be cool. Snail's gotta have some kind of cool shell. I mean, he is riding on a turtle and all. Color shift paint so cool. A lot of focusing going on today. A lot of focusing. Yeah, I'm really, really into it today. Definitely, uh, Definitely getting pulled in. Happy Memorial Day to you too. Coming along. Chocolate cream pie, oh my god. Sounds so yummy. Sounds so yummy. What time is the contest at? finished eating yeah yeah I am um, I'm gonna step till noon and like or till two again I don't have to work tonight so I don't know. 
I might stay up a little later. I gotta go outside and do some yard work. Yeah, turtle's coming out good. I like the little uh, green stuff from the snail. Magic snail goo. Yeah, my uh, fiance has to work though. So, kind of a bummer. That's why I went canoeing yesterday. It's gonna be a metallic snail. All the other spots is copper. Copper color is really cool. I can do like a white wash over it. For the snail part and get some of them grooves grooves to show. Dropped all that paint on my lap. <laughs> Whew. That would have been bad. I'm gonna do the antenna on the snail like a bright green or something. A chartreuse. You think you're a teenager in Yeah, we uh we try to go a couple times, you know, a couple times a month if we can. We live by a bunch of lakes. So it's like 10 minute drive from my house. Yesterday we went somewhere we hadn't gone before. And I, only, I caught six bluegills that we were able to keep. That was all pretty much caught. But it was still fun. We saw an eagle. An eagle was like in a tree. And my uh, fiance thought it was fake. And then we got closer to it. And then it moved and she realized it wasn't fake. It was super cool. I got some pictures of it. They weren't very good pictures, but still cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's way cooler now that he's got some color. Tubing's pretty fun. We got a river around here that we tube on. But usually only later in the year when the water's super low. It, it actually might be all right now because the water's been kind of low.
It hasn't gotten warm enough here yet, though, to go swimming, I don't think. Not for me. Oh, this nail looks cool. So far these brushes are way better. That little dude's awesome. both sides of your neck ow yeah it's actually coming together it took a little a little bit longer than I thought it was going to but painting always takes a little bit there's three parts to this guy so I really like the maroonish color in his shell Okay, now the snail. I almost want to paint him like a green color. I can do this indoor, outdoor, shiny green with things like a darker color. Just dark green. Still kind of bright, but. The darker color. I see his grooves a little bit. Color it a lighter color first. Usually, oh. Is it on there. up the turtle a little bit in a couple spots so they don't nothing a little tan can't cover up tan tan can
that's pretty hard to paint. Trying to get in there. Can can, if anything can, can, can if anything can, the tan can can, can can can. That just sounds funny. Kind of like the Candyman can. So now I want to just get a little bit darker, I think. Rapidly darker. Because it's like more of a glossiness that other one is. So like, if I go over it, it's a flatter one, then it'll look kind of wet underneath it. So I'm hoping. Yeah, so cool. Now he's definitely starting to come to life. Come to life! Touch up that little spot there. Another spot. This one, nope. Yeah. Put the cover on that. Don't need that one open anymore. Well, these little spots I want to touch up with the, the brown and the shell on top. One thing I like about acrylic paint is how fast it starts to get like hardened. It's like sloppy.
Nails should not be on the straps. backpack of brown so I want to cover up all the little cracks and stuff is black the backpack all covered actually I should just cover this whole seat with black to begin with then bring the color out from there probably easier if I have like a base down all the covered and you won't see the gray spots as much when I start filling them in. Same with the guy, I'm gonna cover him up too. The reward as the moments pass Not a single breeze that could reach me To make it feel like any of this is meant to be real So fake, now that I could take what I adored Hmm. Posture check.
All right, so now, looks like I'm gonna add a tan to the backpack. I'm just kind of trying to let it dry a little here. It's a light tan. And I want to get some coffee latte. It's a light tan too. I want to do these ones kind of like a dryer. A little bit on the brush. I don't want much on it. Keep that black under the backpack. Brings up the detail on that a little bit better. Can't see what it looks like. Can't really see it before. The other one's a little lighter. Same thing. Lighter. Okay, things back on here. Yeah, yeah. Yep, those are splotches the snail left behind. Nice and green. You got a little bit of a shimmer to them. You could probably bottle it up and use it as a salve or something. <laughs> All right, where was it going? Getting some things. Okay, so that guy's pretty much done there. That part, I don't need to. Okay, I'll put him in some. That one. I want different color shit. Oh, 
very nice of them. Just don't look great. I'm gonna try to make his shirt like a goldish color. Something shiny on, like he's a proud person from wherever he's from. color for his pants. But I don't want to mix these two colors, so a little bit of this, put it down here. Yeah, racing, racing with turtles and snails. When a turtle gets tired, a snail will win. Yeah, I like the little details, man. Ever since you got me liking the minis, I uh. The, the little stuff is what I like the most. The the subtleties. I mean, I really don't like using the the glossy paints, but when you start using them on little things and give it that little bit of a extra oomph to it. Really makes a difference. Gonna have to be re glued. Just a couple little spots I want to touch up around the collar here. Can really see from this angle. Try to make sure getting all the touch up stuff now because I want to do like a, a dirty wash on the turtle. I want to do like a, a lighter wash all over the snail. Really want that bright green. But I put that black down because I don't want to. I don't want it to be that totally bright green that this is. Kind 
just want it to be like a off color. As long as I put it thin enough, you can still see that black through a little bit. Is actually a little bit brighter. Get it up in there. All oh, that spots that I don't want to hit him. I'm so worried about hitting the guy on the chair. Ah, there we go. Whew. Definitely coming together. Spray weed in my yard. Okay, so I need to do something for dark. Oh, I never painted his eyes. I'm just gonna do him black. the gloss black. Right one just didn't seem right. Yep. Thinner. This one instead. want too much paint but I want just enough it's hard to do like a small spot like an eye Best eyeballs. I like it better when they're uh, some glass ones. So much easier. Let's 
bit enough for me. Try to make a little bit of a wash here. do that first yeah this will work out Sorry, hear that. that snail a little bit better look can't see those cracks in there a little bit I'm gonna do a dark one
Yeah, it's almost done here. I think uh, one more. I'm gonna let that dry off a little bit. I'm gonna do one more dark wash on it. And I think this guy's gonna be done. I just want this stuff to dry a little. I don't want too many pools of water on it. It'll mess up some of the paint. Heat gun a little bit, maybe. Oh, dry it off some. myself on here today. Usually I put myself on and switch. So I can see what the quality looks like. Oh it looks cool. A couple more minutes I'll let it dry. I'll do it again with the black. Maybe I'll make it a little thicker. take our garbage to the dump. We don't have a truck that picks it up. Joys of living in rural, a rural area. Okay, I think this would be good now. Last layer of the dark. I'm gonna leave most of it on it. Yeah, now it looks awesome. Turtle's dirtied enough up. Just 
so I don't touch them too much because I don't want to lose my uh, stuff I already got on it, you know? I like it when it thick on the legs. Looks like it's got dirt on them. Either way, there we go. Splash up some of that water and flows down to it. So cool. Now it's, now it's time to let her dry. I think it's done. Yeah, I hope she does too. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, she works third shift, so ends up being uh, pretty slow. But I hope that it's not going to be too bad. One day is usually kind of suck for her. <coughs> hey, you have a great rest of your day. We're uh, I'm going to be done here with this. I think it turned out pretty good. I think uh, all in all, I really like the shiny gold and the shininess of the snail. And the guy's like shimmering shirt and pants, I like really, really sets him out. It's definitely cool. He'll dry it. He'll dry nice once the black is dry on it. But I think this is gonna be the end of my day here for this stream. I'm gonna probably hop back on later on tonight, probably in the evening sometime. Work on my uh, something dead mic. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm having a hard time figuring out what I want to do. It's a tough one for me. Kind of why I took my time on this. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Definitely really liked the the whole turtle one. That was a, a fun fun little project, I thought. For our little challenges. But everybody have a great day. This is uh mind drops, mind drops. And Monday minis. Out of here. This was part A. This will be a part B later on tonight.